Hello, hello, everybody. So, all right, my friends. Um, so, a couple of things that we have for today. First of them is that a good while ago, I want to say when I started on the hobby about two years ago, I used to watch this guy called Ski with Pete, the owner of One Up Keyboards. And one of the things that I found more interesting about his streams was that he had this solder cam where he would attach, you know, this camera to the soldering irons so you could get this really nice close up. So yesterday I was, you know, thinking about it and then I decided to take a stab at a clip on adapter for the camera. So basically what I designed is this thing here would clip to the to the soldering iron to the handle. Also I did this top piece here where I put a 420 screw that is like the common camera gear screw. And then I would screw my webcam on top of this. Actually, let me show how that this contraption is looking because I think it looks pretty nice. So basically this is what we'll have on stream. And if I press my, can you see? Like you're gonna see the solder cam action as we solder stuff, we're gonna go Every time I solder a switch, you're going to see, you know, the, the action. So that's the idea, right? So you guys can see my soldering iron action up close. So that's, we're going to start doing that today. And talking about things we're doing today, I have finished desoldering my series. And I have here the plate with all the switches on already. So we're going to use, and I, I had a USB mini PCB here before, but now we're replacing it with this very nice NC. <clears throat> so I forgot to flash this. Let's see if we can do that real quick as well. There we go. What switches are you putting this in this build? So as you can see there, this is a Franken switch, which uh, comprises of the housing from Red Ox and the stems from Creams. And I think it sounds really good. You're, you'll see. All right, let me turn on my soldering iron. Oh, the one thing is that I just remembered the Ox don't have the don't have five pins, so we have to be very careful when soldering and with alignment and whatnot. So are you guys ready to rock with the solder cam? So here's our action cam, our solder cam, if you will. And you can see me soldering really up close with that. So I'm going to do what I usually do, which is solder the one pin off the outside switches. How do you guys like this camera? Is that very bad? Uh, I imagine this part is very good. Look at that. <laughs> All right, let's put you guys back. And here's what I'll do. I'll solder some switches towards the middle as well, because it is, it is a really flexible plate. So the more I solder, the better. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go, you know, and make sure that the switches are flush with the PCB. That's very important. So what I do is I touch them like that. And then I push it on the bottom to make sure that, you know, everything is really flush. And I don't think I need to do it for all of them because I can see that they're really flush. All right, seems like we're good. And now if you're confident that everybody, every switch is touching the PCB, you can go ahead and solder the second pin. There we go. 
and now the ones in the center and then after that so i need a i need a fan or i need to get my fume extractor because the fumes are bad sexy hands <laughs> all right so everything here is soldered let me just grab You guys are gonna hear a little bit of noise now because this thing is kind of noisy. But even with my window open today, the fumes are kind of nasty. So I'm gonna have to use it. Yeah, and as long as I see that, you know, the little nubs in the front of the switch are touching the PCB, I am okay with soldering both pins. I think it adds extra stability for the other switches that you're soldering after them so i like to solder one row especially the top row then check it then solder the other row all right so now what i like to do is solder the row the last row before the bottom row just so we get some even distribution and make sure that the plate is very flush and brings the other switches down as well Yeah, it seems like those switches are fine. Let's continue. All right, so that row is ready. Now we can start soldering, you know, the intermediary rows, the two rows in between. There we go, I think we got everything. Let me just make sure. Yeah, we missed one joint here. And now I think we're done. All right. If you've been here for some time, you know what time it is right now. So let's start that. So here we go. Uh oh, we are not getting a connection. Or maybe, hold on, let me check on something. There is a switch, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if this is the one who has a switch. Yes, so maybe this is why it's not being recognized with the default one. Let's see. Yes, so that that's what it was. There we go. Everything is working as it should. Oof. The smell of alcohol. Oof. I'm getting drunk. Here we go. And he has admit this was a super fast build, but again, all the pads were pre-tinned. So that's that makes it easier. Now I need to figure out the okay. The USB port is a little oh there we go it's perfect, and we're gonna be using um, the um, Oblivion kit with the Haragomo kit, but with the also the Haragomo Cadet. Um, kit, which I really like. I want... Is there a switch you'd never use again? TTC Blacks is one of them. Um, alias. So, I never, I don't say never because I need to revisit Alias, but when I used it the first time, I promised myself that I would never use it again. I hated it. <laughs> I 
I know people that like them. I just hate them. Hate them with a with a passion. All right, so time for the typing test. You guys ready? Yeah, I really, I really like the way this switch. Yeah, they are very clacky. They are not that deep. They are a little bit more high pitched, but I still think that they are lower pitched than the creams by themselves without this Franken switch. Let's do another one. Is there a reason why you flip the spacebar? So the, the, the rationale about flipping the spacebar is that you press it with your thumb, which I do. A lot of people don't. So it's it's friendlier, right? You're, you're touching it from the bottom. Uh, try it yourself. And it's, it's a very nice feeling. How do you guys like this? I love it. All right, my friends, anything else before I wrap this up? This was a very short stream, actually, because rebuilding a board is super easy. And I did desolder it before because I wanted to focus on our solder cam. That was the idea for the stream, was to show you guys this very crazy thing that I did. So we're going to see you on the other side.